remember getting a text from like everyone that knew knew me that were associated with the other two programs, and it was like you're up, it's your turn. Okay, so from that day it was it was a little bit different. We knew what the expectation was, you know, it, it, God, we would we would have hated to be the team that that screwed this thing up, right? So we felt that you know right away. Um, but then by the time we got to the College World Series, I think we had gained a lot of confidence and we started to deal with the pressure properly, which was, you know, our perceptions of the pressure was the issue. And by that time, we weren't feeling pressure. We were just, we were being confident, we were playing well, and our seniors were really doing a great job leading. So by the time we got to the College World Series, we weren't thinking about what had happened or where, what we needed to do. We were just thinking about playing good baseball one day at a time. You know, ESPN had done stories and the New York Times did stories. So all of a sudden, anyone that was outside of our normal circles, which was, you know, which is what, 100 miles around Whitewater, <laughs> that's typically our supporters, right? Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden you had alumni that were in Florida or in New York or, or in those areas start to reach out to you because for them, they finally realized the significance of it. <laughs> Everyone benefits when one of the programs has success. You're in the weight room with those athletes. You, you're, you're in meetings with the coaches, and I absolutely feel we support one another in that way. And, and you start believing, hey, if football and basketball did it, why, why can't we? So absolutely, that's part of what was going on in, in our department at the time.